this was awkward starting off. Hey! Hey! Who's ready for another vlog? I have with me my fiance Wendy. And uh, you'll never guess where we are. Go ahead, guess. You'll never guess. We're at Earl of Sandwich in in Las Vegas. I got um, the the Hawaiian barbecue and pineapple. And uh, Wendy screams over this mac and cheese. And what kind of sandwich did you get? Italian. Italian. And this Earl of Sandwich is only, am I correct, only in Las Vegas, in Disneyland, and Disney World. So I'm going to give it a try here. It's really nice bread. Look at that bread. It's following my face, not where I want to point. That bread's good. Crispy bread. Nice sweet barbecue sauce. Um, this is just in kind of a food court area. If it stopped following my face, I could show you. Anyway. We're going to do a vlog of our um, little trip here in Vegas, so hope you enjoy. I'm looking at my face and not you, sorry. Let's go to Vegas, baby. Let's go tonight. Let's go tonight. Let's go to Vegas. We'll stay up all night. Let's go to Vegas, baby. Let's get away. Who wants to live forever when we can have the day? It's raining in the city. So we're in the Paris Casino. And uh, this is pretty neat. I loved Paris when I went. And uh, let me flip the camera around here. I'm getting used to this camera. It's like it's, um, we're standing underneath the Eiffel Tower. I don't remember there being casinos though uh, <laughs> when I was standing under the Eiffel Tower. But uh, yeah, that'd be the elevator going up into the Eiffel Tower and, and the struts. And then, so yeah, these, I like these, kind of looks like a street. Alright, so as I stand here in front of uh, the fake Moulin Rouge, I suppose it's a good time to tell you that this is Las Vegas and so you might see things that you don't want to see. So this is rated PG-13. Uh, I try not to film anything too bad, but stuff shows up on billboards and in the background, so fair warning. I think uh, this casino might be giving Caesar's Palace a run for for my money on my favorite casino. This was really neat. Compared to like uh, Park MGM where we're staying, which is pretty dull inside. It's not themed, we'll just say that. Yeah, this one's really neat. So yeah, so here's the other leg. So it really is legs reaching it right into the casino. The uh, I felt it's not just for show. Like it's actually built into it. Then you can take the elevator. I think it's 20 bucks for a person uh, to go up at a little bit more at night, obviously, because everyone wants to see it at night. But that's really neat. So when I told everyone that we were coming to Vegas, uh, I was coming to Vegas with my fiance. Uh, they expected that we were getting married here. I know. <laughs> I'm yes. Like, uh, no. We're not a lot. <laughs> we already have other plans for that. Yeah. Though I mean, while we're here, we could stop by the little white chapel. <laughs> I mean, you had me at three dollar beers, even though it is domestic and crap. But uh, I'm pretty thirsty. Nope, couldn't do it. Could bring myself to buy a. <laughs> domestic beer anymore, so uh, I got uh, strawberry daiquiri and she got a uh, margarita. Mm, I mean, they use like Bacardi and stuff, so it's happy hour seven bucks. Not the real sign, hopefully we'll see that uh, tomorrow or Monday. But this little stretch is pretty cool. It's called the what? The link. The link? The link. Oh, it's the link. 
taking the strip to promenade. the promenade. Tonight we're going to ride on the wheel. What's the wheel called? The high roller. The high roller. But this little sh <laughs> link is pretty neat. All kinds of shops. Score Ramsey has a shop. There's a hot dog shop. Uh, it stretches that way around the corner just a little bit. And in a second, if I stand here long enough, the uh, zip liners are going to go flying over us. Superman. Oh, yeah. The one that was. Ooh, a hat shop. Whoa. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I love hats. <laughs> Even though I don't wear them very often, I love them. Because I haven't found the right hats. So let's look. All right, they had one hat that uh, ended up working out. Wendy's, ah, she's not, you're not a fan of me with hats. Not my thing. You ready? All right. <laughs> it's called, what is it, The Link? No, Gordon Brothers Hat Shop. At The Link. At The Link. Oh, L-I-N-Q. That's where we are, not, I was thinking L-I-N-K, like we're linking the strip to something else. Anyway, they have several shops around the country, uh, so just look up Gordon Brothers Hat Shop. This place is where uh, slot machines go to die. Like, this stuff is old, Monopoly, Willy Wonka, old slot machines. I mean, obviously they still make them like that, but like all of these have a very, very vintage look to them. That was in uh, Casino Royale, right across from the Mirage. As you guys know, I have to do these. I only do one per, per visit, so we have to show them what it is here. <laughs> She's new at camera work. Right. So I have to find, I want the, uh, gotta do the Las Vegas sign. Just buy it. And not only that, but it's the Spice Girls, and I freaking love the Spice Girls. This is inside the Venice uh, Casino. This is the shop area. But man, that's crazy. of myself with one. Or no, I guess it was in Europe. It's the ice bar. I think you have to get all geared up to go into it because it's negative five degrees. Yeah, I saw that. So my daughter loves, or used to love, uh, Cake Boss. Yeah, buddy. His restaurant's right behind us. Didn't know he had a restaurant. Anyway, had to stop and get uh, her a souvenir. And we'll try the cakes while we're at it. Okay, so I felt like the cannoli was the... Uh, right thing to go with just because, I don't know, they, they do the free cannolis or dollar cannolis once a year or something, so they must be pretty good. So I got the chocolate and the regular, so I assume we'll share, but let's start with the regular. The texture is really grainy, and I hate 
dessert. No, it shouldn't be cream cheese, but cream is not on. I think it's light and, and crispy, but it's like it's really grainy. It's like like powdered cream cheese. Um, sorry, buddy. <laughs> I don't care. For, what do you think? The secret ingredient to the cannoli cream is the cheese, ricotta cheese. Yeah, cannolis are filled with cheese. Uh, Siegfried and Roy behind us, a little monument. I believe they used to perform at the Mirage, which is just behind us. If you remember from the Seattle travel vlog, I have a thing for escalators. <laughs> and uh, it's not often you see a curved escalator. So we have to ride it just for that. It throws you off a little bit. Like, on escalators, you have to, you know, you, you get used to the motion, but this, like, it actually, it makes you wiggle a little bit, because your body thinks you're going straight, but you're curving. That was exciting. Now that I'm back in Caesar's Palace, I mean, last time I was here, I wasn't even 21 yet. So I was 20 years ago. This was as cool as it got, but uh, now that I'm seeing it again, and the fact that I've finally been to Rome, um, it's not, I mean, I, I like the Paris and the Venice one better. I mean, they just obviously seem more luxurious because they're newer, they have this to compete with. I mean, it's still pretty cool, but it just doesn't quite seem as cool as the others. So we'll see what this fountain's like. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you want to be rich and spend your money, this is the place to come. Gucci, Giorgio Armani, Tiffany's, Rolex. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's cheap at all, but the, uh, the Paris and the, the Vienna, uh, Venice, uh, were pretty cool too. It's, all this blue is it's, it's just a lot. It just, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? Which is your favorite casino you've seen? Leave a comment in the uh, comment section down below. Okay, there's a chance I need to retract my earlier statement because now that we're in the actual casino, is definitely uh, ritzy. <laughs> so we're just moseying on through on the way to the strip because I don't think I could even afford a slot machine here. Okay, so um, it's night, so that means the lights are out. And then we're gonna ride the um, high roller wheel, is what it's called. Uh, so you can see there's quite a long line. Uh, so if you just go online, and order your tickets on your phone, you can skip the line and save some money. So don't wait in line, just pull out your phone, order your tickets, and off you go. Uh, so you can do two different things. You can just do the normal ride, uh, ride 30 minutes, or you can um, do a alcoholic ride where you get all you can drink along the 30 minute ride. So that's what we did. 
So uh, we'll uh, get on board and show you around and hopefully uh, be able to see some of the lights from up there. How much were the tickets, Wendy? $47. Is that a discount when we bought them online? But, uh, well, we're on two drinks already. We need to drink a little more. So that's the street we were on. We ate at, uh, the, yeah, you can barely see it. Sorry about the glare. It's almost like we're in a bubble. The art house right there. It's pretty good. And then, uh, so that's where we were kind of hanging out along that street. And that leads up to the strip. So yeah, definitely check out this um, Link. I mean, that's the Link Casino. Where are you getting the fact that this is called the Link? Alright, anyway. There's all kinds of stuff to do there. We found some buy one, get one free drinks along the way. And then the Venetian. That was pretty fun. You can't see Paris. So this is a first. This is a credit card taking, no punny, penny, punny? Punny. No penny accepting machine. How much have you had to drink? Shush. Seven. Uh, you know what, just for this, I, I think I have to do the full five, so it's, Would you like all eight images for five dollars? No, I'll take all eight. I can tap to pay? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. This is where I edit out the video. Oh, yeah. Back to the bed. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no that's all right. keep talking. Uh, oh, oh, I gotta go back. Oh my god, you're so slow. <laughs> I say to myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, select. <laughs> Take it. What? Like it's so weird. I don't have to put any money in. Five dollars. Yes. Give me five dollars. It's in my credit card. I can do it too. Oh my god. Oh, it's double pressing. Oh my god. One. <laughs> Is rain and pennies. <laughs> oh, and they're so shiny. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this, is, this is the best penny machine ever. Look, I'm a jackpot winner in Vegas. Look at all the money I'm winning. Wow. I got them all, and they're shiny. Okay, so we are going to have uh, lunch on the second day here. And um, obviously watching Food Network, you see Bobby Flay all over the place, known for bold flavors. And I've always wanted to try some of his food. He has an actual restaurant here, but uh, the price range is Bobby Flay worthy. So we're going to try out his uh, Bobby's Burger Palace instead. So I'm pretty stoked to try some of these sauces here. Jalapeno, heck yeah. Burger sauce, chipotle ketchup. Supposedly they will explain all of these sauces to us when they come. Okay, so Wendy got the uh, beef brunch burger crunchified. Crunchified is when you add some tater chips. <laughs> some potato chips to it. I went with the uh, 
beef, well, the green chili burger, and you can get beef, chicken, or turkey meat. And I got mine crunchified as well. And then we got uh, something called the undecided, where you can pick fries, onion rings, or sweet potatoes. You get two of them. You get chipotle, aioli, ranch, and all the sauces. <laughs> wow. That burger's moist. This cheese sauce. Oh my god. Good job, Bobby. The sauces, the burger sauce, jalapeno sauce, and chipotle ketchup. Uh, they're good. I mean, ketchup is good for fries, but like. I don't actually want to put any of these on my burger because I think it'll take away from the actual burger flavor and the uh, the cheese that's already on there. So that's saying something. Uh, the first night we were here, we went to see Carrot Top here at the Luxor. The only thing I can say about this show is he looked like a guy who's been doing this for 14 years. <laughs> um, I'm not a comedian fan, but I think everyone else enjoyed it. But uh, while we were in there, we saw that they had a Titanic exhibit. And uh, there's no photography allowed in there, so I won't be able to show you anything. But I've always kind of liked the uh, Titanic and a chance to see 250 artifacts. So I thought that might be pretty good. So we're headed back there for that. To get in the Great Pyramid, all you have to do is sneak under the Sphinx's loins. and. Wiggle your way down past its tail end <laughs> to get into the inner sanctum. So as a kid, I always thought it was pretty neat that uh, these are actually rooms going up. And I always was like, man, that'd be so cool to be up there. And you look down and there's nothing below you but empty space. Kind of scared the crap out of me. <laughs> well, that was fascinating. Uh, it's really neat. Uh, if, you, if you are interested in the Titanic at all, you don't want to miss this. Uh, it's $35 a person. You can do a $5 extra audio tour. But they had cups and and coal and you know, slippers and postcards from passengers and all along the walls, you know, stories about the passengers and all the artifacts had little details you could read about it. God, we were in there for probably an hour and a half, but we read practically everything. Uh, then they have, you know, like a cold section. The best part is they recreated the, the staircase, you know, the famous staircase. They recreated that and you can go in there and get your picture taken in there if you want. Uh, and they also, reproduce the promenade, the walkway on the outside of the Titanic, so that was really neat. And then uh, at the very end, they actually had a giant 26 long foot piece of the Titanic, the, the outer wall, rivets and, and everything. So you actually see part of the actual Titanic. So it was really neat. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in, in the Titanic, uh, stop by and see it. You're also given a pass when you go in there. It has an actual passenger's name on it. And at the end, uh, they have a board full of the people who survived and didn't, and uh, you try and find your name on there. And uh, the the head curator in there told me a story about my person that they actually, they were on first class, they were on a boat, he and his wife and uh, one of their kids, and they couldn't find their infant son. So they all got off the boat and went to look for it. Well, the, the maid and the son were on a different boat, three boats down, and so they survived. They survived, and uh, this person, his wife, and their other kid didn't because they got off the boat looking for the one that was already on the boat, a different boat. So this is the New York, New York shopping area. Also pretty cool. Looks like the streets of New York. But I think I need to get me a slice of New York style pizza. Right there. 
Big old floppy piece. I've never had real New York pizza, but it tastes like what you imagine it tastes like. So I'm on my way to the fabulous Las Vegas uh, sign out at the start of the strip, and I have two hours to get there and back. Uh, we're staying at Park MGM, so it shouldn't be too far, but I thought I'd take a shortcut and go from Luxor to Mandalay Bay, where I'm at right now, uh, taking the tram. It's not really much of a shortcut because you have to walk through Mandalay Bay to get back to the strip. Unlike the Excalibur one, which uh, takes you straight to the strip. So, I'm trying to figure out a way to get out of here because, as you know, it's impossible to escape these casinos. I can honestly say I've never been to this uh, end of the strip. It's like the start of the strip, basically, but there's nothing here. It's flat. <laughs> Nearest casino is all the way back there. It's hot. <laughs> At least I'm going in the right direction. There it is. Oh wait, that's Welcome to Las Vegas, Harley Davidson. No, that's not right. I think I see it. There's the back of it anyway. All right, I finally made it. Uh, and there's a big line, as expected. So I'm just going to, uh, since I'm on a time limit, I made it in about uh, 45 minutes with my detour and my time limit. So I'm just going to sneak off to the side, grab my selfie, and uh, be on my way. Well, I'd say it was worth it just because it's such an iconic sign and I appreciate the old history of Vegas that uh, you mostly know from the movies anymore. Uh, I, before I was born, and uh, that sign is kind of iconic, so uh, I had to come out and see it one time at least. This might be a good time to tell you that this entire video was shot with the DJI Osmo Pocket, which you may be able to see reflected in my glasses. I didn't mean to do that. I love this little camera. I try to use as much as I can, and uh, I thought, well, let's just see what a video would look like if I used nothing but this. All the audio, all the uh, video, is from this, except for a couple of shots at night because the battery died on this um, after a full day of use and copying to my phone. The copying to the phone is what drained the battery. Anyway, um, it's not sponsored, but if you're curious, yes, the Osmo Pocket gives this quality um, that you've been seeing. And if you want to help support the channel, you can pick one up using uh, an Amazon affiliate link in the video description below. All right, so, uh, whoa, it got dark. <laughs> While we're waiting for our plane, uh, plane leaves at eight, so we checked our bags with the bag check at our hotel uh, before we checked out our room, but uh, we came down here to uh, Fremont Street, and uh, we're going to, you can see it, a zip line, and then uh, go eat at uh, the Triple Sevens down there. So we're in, uh, what? Looks decidedly older Las Vegas. Well, this is pretty neat. It's got that old fashioned feel, but really, I mean, I think it was probably built to look like this and it's not just upkept really well. I will uh, do some research on the internet for this place. Anyway, we're going to go find a place to eat in the Triple Sevens. So I went with the teriyaki chicken. What'd you get, Wendy? Prime rib melt. We'll let you know how it is after we eat. What'd you think of your food? It's very good. I liked it. Mine had a lot of veggies. The teriyaki was okay. It wasn't too strong. Uh, chicken was a little dry. Her roast beef sandwich looked really good. It's prime rib, but yes. Prime rib delicious. sandwich. <laughs> Famous cowboy, old sign right there. Okay, 
Okay, so Fremont Street is where things are a little more grown up. <laughs> more a skin is shown and, and adult jokes are going on. Uh, so don't bring your kids to Fremont Street. All right, where are all my Fear and Loathing Las Vegas fans at? Raise your hand in the comments if you're a big fan. If you are, I got something to show you. Hang on. Check that out. Little Hunter S. Thompson, Acapulco shirt. Fly swatter for those damn bats. Get out of LA for at least three days. That's really neat. That's down here just off of Fremont Street. So there's where the zip line starts, right up there. And it goes the whole length, all the way back down to where we started. So there's a, uh, another sign, a welcome to fabulous downtown Las Vegas. So, you know, I got to get a selfie with that one too, but surprisingly there's no line for this one. Funny enough. Uh, another note, um, they said no personal filming on the zip line, so I brought a GoPro for my head, but they won't let me wear it. So maybe someone down below can record me going, but I wish I could show you the ride, but so many places now don't let you film yourself. It's kind of annoying. But uh, we'll eventually make our way up there and Superman out along the, the path. I'm gonna go ahead and send it out to this lady from you. How about that? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching.